Hello friends, I am Ram Lakshmanan. As an architect of GCEC, the garbage collection log analysis tool, I am having a fortune to see thousands of garbage collection log fronts. In these thousands of garbage collection log fronts that I have seen, I am seeing like certain types of GC patterns repeating again and again. And these GC patterns, these garbage collection patterns are quite intriguing. Using these garbage collection patterns, you can determine, even in fact sometimes you can predict your health of your application. You can detect the performance characteristics of your application. So in this video clip, I intend to share those patterns with you. Thank you. This is the first type of GC pattern, right? I'm calling this as an LT pattern, LT sawtooth pattern. That is what I mean by this. You can see there is this, uh, uh, full garbage collection event running and then the memory dropping all the way to the bottom right and then now once again uh, as traffic starts to come up the the, e the application creates more objects more and more objects are created when it e when it hits this uh, ceiling point once again the full gc runs and then the memory drops all the way to the bottom where it almost started and similarly um, traffic comes the full gc gets triggered and the memory is dropping all the way to the bottom this, you see this, this is a beautiful sawtooth pattern. Like you can see it's a sawtooth pattern. And this sawtooth is happening at a very, very periodic interval, a fine grind, like it's kind of interval of one hour it is happening. So this is, when you see this kind of a pattern, means you can say your application is in a very healthy condition, right? It, it, is, uh, it, it is in a very good condition, okay? Now, the second pattern that what I want to talk about is called as a heavy caching pattern. Right, heavy caching GC pattern. See, uh, look at it here, friends. Here, when the garbage collection events are happening, it is not dropping. The, the when the garbage collection is happening, it is not dropping all the way to the bottom. Right, it is uh, this garbage collection is not able to clear the EPSH to come to all the way to the bottom. It is always, it is just uh, coming around at 38 GB limit, and after that it bounces back. It is not able to come down. Do you know why this could be happening? So yeah, I'm because like uh, app is storing some data like cache. Correct, exactly. So what's going on is the application is storing is storing caches. Well, there are some long lived objects. Typically, most likely it is the caches. A lot of application they load the contents from their back end system of records or the back end database into the memory. They get the data and store it in the memory, so they act as a cache. So if any any new request comes, those requests can be serviced back quickly, instantly. So just by looking at this kind of a GC pattern, then we can say these type of applications tend to have a lot of cache, right? There is a lot of cache. That's why the the garbage collection isn't able to recover the memory. It is not able to drop all the way to the bottom like the earlier pattern we saw. So there is nothing wrong with this. It's just an observation, just by looking at this heap usage graph, just by looking at this uh, garbage collection pattern, we can say, okay, yes, this application is caching a lot of objects, okay? So now, let me move on to the next pattern. This one, I'm calling it as an acute memory leak pattern, right? See, look at this, friends. You can see the, the heap usage is climbing. That is, the new requests are coming, the objects are getting created. Now a full GC event runs. And a full GC event runs, the memory is dropping all the way to the bottom here, right? Not all the way to the bottom, it's dropping somewhere here. And then once again, the traffic keeps coming, the, the memory keeps building up. When the full garbage collection event comes, runs, the memory is dropping here. But if you see, look at it. In the, in the previous full GC event ran, the memory dropped all the way to, say here it is like a 22 GB, right? It dropped to like a 22 GB. But now, when this full GC event ran, the memory is not dropping all the way to the 22 GB. Rather, it is only dropping somewhere, we can say, 25 GB, right? It is not, it is not dropping all the way to the bottom. Like as time progresses, yeah. if you see, when this kind of, when this full GC event ran, the memory is dropping only to here, like look at it, 31 GB. You see, earlier it was at 22 GB, but now as time progresses, then even the full garbage collection run, the memory isn't able to drop. You see, if I put this kind of, look at this black arrow, right? The low memory points, right? It, it keeps kind of climbing up. 
do you see right you guys are with me right with mm, yes sir yeah yes sir indicative that this application is suffering from an acute memory leak a minor memory leak it's not very aggressive enough if it is ag aggressive enough it would have resulted in a out of memory error right but it was it's not it is not very aggressive enough. slowly it is leaking slowly it's leaking but eventually if this application by just by looking at this pattern we can say if this application is going to be keep on running for quite some time then it will run into memory problems right because it means object is leaking slowly gradually it is building up so if it's going to run for a long period of time then it will result in an out of memory error okay A any questions on this pattern sure okay so then now i am progressing so this is the fourth pattern which is uh, quite interesting see this pattern i'm calling it as an consecutive full gc pattern right see look at what's going on here when see here the full gcs right friends let me tell you when a garbage collection runs right garbage collection consumes enormous amount of cpu computation it 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 run it consumes enormous amount of cpu cycles because garbage collection today modern application tends to create tons of millions of objects even to serve a simple request so if all these objects are created in memory a garbage collector has to run concurrently in the background to keep track of what are all the newly created objects what are all the unreferenced objects and then it has to evict the unreferenced object from memory so it consumes enormous amount of cpu so when a, whenever a full gc runs the cpu will be spiking up but look at this here unlike the earlier patterns when the full gc ran the memory was dropping but here look at it when full gc is running memory is not dropping it's 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 a very sharp uh, difference the memory there is the e usage keeps climbing up right do you can see the full gc is running running but the memory is not dropping the memory keeps building up building up building up and see whenever the red triangle that means the full gc runs the cpu is going to be very very spiked up if you see this repeated kind of full gc this consecutive full gcs are starting to run around 12 around 12 12 pm and then it is lasting for another 30 minutes right it's, it's a 30 so for this 30 minute window if any customer request is going to be coming into the application they are not going to get back any response because the garbage collection it it freezes your application and it also consumes enormous amount of cpu so any request that comes during this 30 minute window you wouldn't be getting back any response and the cpu will be at 9900 percentage right but something interesting happens after 30 minute this period at 1230 now you see in the full gc run the memory is dropping all the way to the bottom hmm? so so what does this means to you what does this tell to you do you guys want to share your observation like anyone okay so let me share what's going on. see when there is when when the traffic starts to come high like say when there is high traffic volume or maybe here maybe some batch jobs are running right or some new traffic when there is a when there is a spike in traffic volume when either one of them happens then now your application will start to create more and more more and more objects and since it's creating more objects then what your garbage collection can handle that's why the garbage collector keeps on running uh, very frequently but once at the 1230 when the traffic dies down when the traffic goes away right then the memory drops the memory drops so when you see this kind of pattern it's indicative that your application is in demand for more memory this is what it's telling the application is what telling to you uh, the current allocated memory isn't sufficient enough for him for your application it needs more memory so so either what you want to do is when you see this kind of a pattern you want to either increase your uh, eep size xmx or maybe you can try commissioning uh, more jvm instances say today you are running on two jvm instances maybe you can look at adding one more jvm instance so that your load can get distributed or you have to figure out a way whether you can throttle your load maybe this is a batch job which was running at the window maybe instead of batch trying to run all like say can you sequence your batch schedule so that all the batch jobs doesn't get fired at the same point in time you want to do those kind of things right so that's what this pattern means 
uh, is this making sense what i told yes sir yes yes sir clear okay okay yes so the next and the fifth pattern what this is uh, more interesting this is what called i'm uh, it's a final pattern also which i'm calling as a memory leak pattern right here what you can see right here it's going through fine and the gcs are happening the memory is dropping but right around towards the end of the graph to the right end of the graph you can see shoot up where the memory consumption is starting to shoot up so the the garbage collection is also starting to run the repeat the garbage collection is starting to run and now the garbage collection is starting to run repeatedly it's starting to run repeatedly again and again this means there is um, this means it's indicative that the it it it's, it's it's it could be indicative of two things this could be indicative of two things number one is the earlier consecutive pattern right this this is one possibility that is there was a increase in the traffic volume due to the increase in the traffic volume the memory started climbing up and the and to keep up with that the garbage collector is running again and again and again and it couldn't keep up with it that's why you see this consecutive full gcs running and and then to recover from this status you only have to recycle the jvm right that is the only option no so this is one possibility that is whether there is because of the increase in the traffic volume this kind of repeated pattern could happen or the second possibility could be your application is suffering from a memory leak right if your application is suffering from a memory leak then also you will start to see this pattern right because because there is a leak the objects are keep on building up and the garbage collector is not able to recline from it but how as a developer how will you be able to differentiate whether this problem is happening because of the increase in the traffic volume or because of the memory leak right the answer to that question is there is one simple approach what you can do what you can do is you can decommission your jvm from your load balancer that is take your load balancer take your jvm from your load balancer pool so that traffic doesn't comes in so that no new traffic comes in so if no new traffic comes in if this is an memory leak then what what's going to happen is this repeated gcs are still going to continue to run they will keep on running and there is no it, it cannot recover because it's a memory leak but on the other hand if this problem was triggered because of the spike in the traffic once you cease once you stop the traffic then the memory will start to drop the memory will start to drop right so when you encounter this kind of a scenario you you may want to take a heap dump and then analyze it with the tools like epro y crash or eclipse mac to detect what are the objects sitting in memory and how we can go about debugging it how we can drop how we can identify what are the biggest objects what are causing the memory leak you can go about troubleshooting right so these are the five different types of uh, gc patterns that uh, uh, have seen right uh, so any questions so far on this yes ram <clears throat> yes ram i have one question sure go ahead uh, see if it is happening because of traffic so mm -hmm. how to uh, resolve this issue like we need to increase the xms and yes so if it is happening because of traffic the possibilities are you can increase the xmx that is one option or the second option is say suppose today you are running with uh, two jvms right you can look at commissioning uh, one more jvm instance because when you are going to add one more jvm instance that means your load is going to get distributed to into three three jvms so it means uh, the load processed by one jvm is going to come down that's in second approach and then the third approach is maybe is it because it's caused because of your batch processes right or or some if a batch process then can you look at scheduling your batch jobs so that not all batch jobs get fired at same point in time say suppose a batch job a can be triggered at 12 pm and the batch job b can be triggered once the first job completes so similarly you can look at ways you can control the load maybe there is a thread pool whether can you lower your thread pool count so you can if you lower the thread pool count the number of threads number of requests that can be processed can also be lower those are all some of the ways to to mitigate or to lower your traffic volume right so these are some of the things you can employ mm -hmm. okay okay 
uh, any other questions from anyone okay okay yeah. thank you thank you friends yeah thank thanks Ram, for sharing this information no. it was helpful thank you Ram. yeah thank you Ram. yeah yeah no problem